I am Sergeant Major Marcus Fitzgerald Alfred. I'm originally from Louisiana, you know, born and raised in Louisiana. I've been there since, uh, been in the military for right now in October, it's gonna be 30 years that I've been in the military. Military just changed my whole life. So it was something different that I wanted to do because I wanted to give back to the world. I wanted to give back to the community because where I'm from, it's the norm to, okay, you go work for your dad or you go in and work at a restaurant. I know with me, when I first started, we had a janitorial service, you know? Some people, it's nothing, but to us, it was a lot because it took us to another level. Even with my mom and dad, I give them credit because they really made me the person that I am. But the military made me the man that I am. Taking care of people. Taking care of people, taking care of soldiers. With me, it's all about the soldiers. This is the reason why I'm still in. Everybody asks me that question, why are you still in? I've always, I was always one after 20 years, when you get that 20 year letter, first thing you do is, oh my God, I got this letter, I'm done. Uncle Sam, I'm finished. My contract is over. But nine years later, and I sit there and look at it, and I'm like, no. Generations after generations after me, it's gonna be doing the same thing. I have ki I have a daughter that's in. I have a nephew that's in. I inspired them to get in. That's what make me push for. I credit my service in the military, especially to a cousin of mine, because she was the one, uh, Patricia Johnson. She was the one that got me in the military, you know, because <laughs> She's the one who told me. She was the one who was in it. And between her mom, her dad, they were in the Navy. I'm sorry, they were in the Air Force. And she joined the Army Reserves. So when she told me about it, how it was. So that's what gave me the strength to go out and just join, take the plunge and join. So I give my credit for joining to her. Military is, it's a life. It's a life beyond the life that you're living. Because there's so much that the military can offer you. For one, we all know it offers you education. It gets you to where you travel around the world. It takes you places. It, uh, it expands the mind, mentally and physically. So it takes you to a whole nother level where you can just know that in, in, in the blink of an eye, I'm here in Louisiana, and you open your eyes, and now you're in Iraq, you know? So you're defending the country. You're taking it to where people look up to you because when you put this uniform on, you're not that one individual that's just walking in the street. You're here to protect, you're here to serve, and you're here to sit there and serve your country. You're not just serving the people around you, you're serving your country because right now, we live what we stand for and that's to protect and that's to serve and that's just to make sure that we give what we can give out to the, to the world. 